what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Zakai Blackwell, aka Young Simba Z, back at it again with a Simba Speech video. And today we're going to talk about how to like achieve your goals and like overcoming goals. First and foremost, before I begin what I'm about to talk about, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification when for to update when new videos come out. Also, before I begin, I want to give a shout out to my boy Chima. He made this shirt today, Vavilon. So yeah, go check out his website. I'll put the link down in the description below. So now today's video is uh, it's going to continue based off the last one. I'll put the link down in the description to Simba Speaks Episode 1. To start, I'm going to refresh y'all about dreams and like what the video is about. A little summary. Uh, you can go watch the video. But dreams is about always like having your ideas, a mindset, your goals, and passion. And like having different ideas now. So right now I'm going to give a, a little recap of what I mentioned in the first video. But it was about dreams and mentioning like how don't let anybody tell you what you can't do and like always go for your dreams no matter what the haters say like what the enemy say do what you want to do and do what makes you happy like always follow your passions and it doesn't matter what anyone has to say as long as you're happy doing it and you're working towards your final goal that's what that's what's up so for today's video we're going to talk about goals today so for the dreamers we got that out the way already you already know what your dream is now today like I need you to close your eyes and picture yourself like where you see yourself in the next three to five years and like what's the end goal destination for you. So for me personally, I, I want to play basketball. Everybody knows my basketball videos, vlogs, things like that. For me, what I'm doing is I'm in the learning stage right now. So the learning stage is taking a step back, like not focusing on everything, but I watch like what the greats do. So like I watch Derrick Rose, Damian Lillard, Russell Westbrook. I watch what they do and I train how they train. So I take the steps that they follow and I do it myself. So after you figure out your passion is like who's like your role models to look up to, now it's time for the heavy duty work. It's time to grind and craft all the time. So what I mean by that is always like start with a list, like a short term list and a long term list. The short term list is things you can accomplish in like either two to three months period time frame or like a couple months like it shouldn't be as hectic but also with the short term you need a long term goal and at the same time so for me the short term goal for me is like just getting a better shot selection like always taking smarter shots I, I can do that easily like it's just a time thing like it's always just practice and being repetitive following the same tools techniques that you always use so with me it takes time for me to get used to things so you just gotta trust the process and go with the flow of things now for a long-term goal like my end goal is to like just become stronger like always staying consistent and always following like the things I need to do so I need to eat healthy I need to work out consistently I need to go run things of that nature like that's like more long-term goals like so say like like I said running like like I said running like so I run like a mile try a, a mile or two each and every day but my long-term goal is to be conditioned where like a mile to two miles is nothing to me so long-term goal is like I can run past like two three miles a day like that's like an end goal destination for me so I can stay conditioned and be healthy like I was saying with the food I tend to eat, I do my best to eat as healthy as possible, but under my financial budget, it's kind of harder. So it's a little give and take with that one. So as long as I get a good intake of water each day, I always have some type of fruit or vegetables that, that's consistent like throughout the week. Like to so say I, I eat three to five days of fruits and vegetables, like with my meals and stuff, then that's a good goal that, that can be turned into a long-term goal. Because eventually I want to start eating where I don't want to eat junk food anymore. I just straight want to eat healthy rice, chicken, like things of that nature. So my long-term goal for that is just staying on the path of like consistency with eating. Yeah. So, and then the third thing I was saying about my shot selection. So like always have to work on the routine with the flow of things like how you shoot. But now it's consistency with it. So taking perimeter shots like not just up close layups and stuff but my long-term goal for that is having a consistent perimeter like i can shoot from anywhere inside the three-point line that should be a like mandatory i should have been doing that but it's just getting more consistent more comfortable 
having the flow of things, having my footwork down, things of that nature. And then my long-term goal, like once I get the mid-range down, is have a better arc and range for three-point shots and having just a variety of options available so like I can dominate and go anywhere. It doesn't matter like where I'm at. Like no one can tell me how my game is like or they can depict because I'm versatile. That's a long-term goal for me personally. So those are just a few tidbits and things of that nature. So having like short-term goals, long-term goals, like having like really specific goals that you can meet and at certain requirements. But now, now that we're done with that, now I'm going to transition into the next uh, phase of today's video, which is mastering your craft. So what do the masters do? Like what are the greats? So Michael Jordan, um, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, uh, Magic Johnson, what did they do? Were they one-dimensional players? No. Did they have one aspect that they were really good at? Yes. But do you think that's how they got to the league that way? No. They always was working on their craft. So that means adding something different to their game, adding something new, adding something that is a weakness. So for me personally, like I was saying with my shot, like I feel like it's a lot better than it was years ago, but for me personally now, I want to be able to just get, get into game mode and like just have that Mamba mentality at per se. So saying like just going in the game with confidence, doing everything I do with confidence, speaking, in, speaking to audiences in confidence, just having that right mindset will take you really far in life and it will get you to where you need to go to. It's all about just crafting, practicing, mastering, and never staying stagnant. You always need to do more to get better and do what you need to do. Now into the third phase of this video, I want to talk about like after you like know what your dreams is and you have goals set, you need to really find like your niche or your passion or like where you're good at specifically. So say for me in basketball, I'm really good at defense. So I can guard anybody. I think I'm like no one can get past me. And if they do, it's only gonna happen once or twice. Like no one can really stop me. That's my thing. Me, that's my thing. Defense. So saying like finding that, I don't want to just be known as like a well-known defender. I want to be known as all around. So I want to add things to my game. So not just defense, but I want to be versatile, like I was saying earlier, being able to do things that people don't expect me to do or be good at. I want to like overcome those goals as well. Like the haters when they talking off the same smack, ignore them, block them out, just go back to doing what you're doing and focus on your goals and your dreams. You just gotta trust and follow the journey. And that's how you'll be able to accomplish your goals. And that's what I have for today in this video. Now, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below and turn post notifications. I'll have another Simba Speaks out next month and I'm out, peace.